never go to the embassy late if you know you have an interview and never sit down until you are offered a seat and most especially do not slam the door on your way out hello everyone this is clifford or daddy cliff a phd student living in south korea and in this video i will be talking about five etiquettes that you must respect if you know you have an interview at the korean embassy in your home country that is for those who are applying for either the global korean scholarship on the graduate version or the graduate version these are etiquettes that they must respect if they want to secure that visa to come and study in south korea in my channels i do provide videos on how to secure 100 percent scholarship not just for the global korean scholarship which is the government scholarship because there are many other scholarships in south korea and you can find them in my channel i do equally provide other educational contents like how to write a good study plan a good statement of purpose how to select a thesis topic if you know you identify yourself with any of those things why not subscribe to the channel and join this awesome community that i am trying to build without wasting too much of your time let's get into the five etiquettes that you must respect if you know you want to get that most cherished scholarship to south korea the first thing is never go late to the embassy if you know you have an appointment let's say your appointment is in the afternoon let's say 2 p.m I think you should be there at 1 p.m. or if you can't make it there at 1 p.m. be there at 1 30 p.m. so that you will give yourself some time to relax and get yourself ready for the interview because the worst thing is you going to the interview maybe sweating or maybe panting you might need some time to relax and cool down and get yourself ready for the interview it is very important that you maintain a calm spirit about going late to the interview it's something that koreans do frown about let's take an example let's say you live in south korea a typical south korean family is usually the mother the father and maybe a son or a daughter if the son or the daughter have gotten to the age where they can drive a car that will mean maybe the father has a car, a mother has a car, and the child has a car. So imagine out of the 50 million population of South Korea, almost every household has a car. That will mean many cars. Many cars mean a lot of traffic. But when Koreans know that they have an appointment or they have to go to work, they don't go late. They always go there at least an hour before time or 30 minutes before start of work because they already know they have traffic in their country so if you know there is something that might cause you to go late to the embassy like maybe traffic it should not be an excuse for you to go late for your interview make sure you leave the house maybe two hours before time if you know that it would take you maybe 30 minutes to get to the embassy so that you would have an extra one hour to relax and get yourself prepared for your interview the second thing that many people worry about is about the dress code it doesn't really matter the dress code does not matter but it does not mean that you should equally go there dirty if you want you can go there with your high school uniform no problem as long as it is neat you can equally go there with any other kind of dress but it should be pleasant so as far as dress code is concerned go there with normal dressing that is not kind of messed up dirty or maybe short like a very short skirt now once you are in the embassy and it is time for your interview if you are asked to get into the interview room make sure that on your way once you open the door even before getting in completely you bow down and say and young has say you and then proceed to the area where there might be a chair or a table but don't sit down until you are offered a seat once you are offered a seat say thank you and then sit down once you are seated make sure you don't sit like this or maybe cross your legs like this feeling relaxed sit up right like this and wait for the interview to begin 
it is okay to feel relaxed but don't do it the way I said as if you are in your parlor or with your parents so it is very important that on your way into the room give a deep bow while opening the door and then proceed to the interview table and wait for you to be offered a seat before you sit down once you've been offered a seat make sure you say thank you and like i said don't sit relaxed and then crossing your legs it will be very disrespectful now the fourth thing that you have to do during the interview is make sure you speak eloquently and answer the questions all of your questions should be tailored towards the reason as to why south korean government is offering that scholarship by now you should know the reason as to why they are offering the scholarship which is the one people who will go to korea and learn the good values about korea like the korean culture and they should be able to either implement those good values in south korea or maybe back in their home country when they come back so two things learning korean cultural values and being able to either serve korea or their home government or the world it is important that you speak eloquently clearly and eloquently during the interview and note the interview is the best moment for you to sell yourself do not hold back on anything that might be positive to you as far as the scholarship is concerned but make sure it is eloquent in such a way that your message goes through and number five once the interview is over when standing up thank them by saying kamsahamida while standing and then proceed out when going out let's say maybe the interview was a group interview if you are the last make sure you close the door while also saying at the same time thank you or kamsahamida the next thing is do not slam the door on your way out close the door quietly while proceeding out of the interview room so those are five simple etiquettes that you must respect the first one is making sure you don't go late to the interview hall the second one is dressing coat dress normal don't put on very short skirt if you want you can go with your uniform only sit down once you are offered a seat and remember to say thank you when they offer you the seat number four speak eloquently and pass your message through clearly and lastly make sure you thank them on your way out and do not slam the door that being said this is the end of this video the next video is going to be on possible interview questions that you might be asked during your interview for the global korean scholarship undergraduate or graduate version so you might want to subscribe to the channel if you've not yet subscribed so that you will not miss out on the next video that being said this is the end of the video and i will see you in the next one good luck